Let's rank the top 25 quarterbacks going into this 2024 season. At number 25, I have the Kansas State quarterback, Avery Johnson. For him to rise up the list, I need to see him be a better passer. At number 24, I have Connor Wigman. I know there is a ton of hype behind this guy. Personally, I'm not as much of a believer, and he battles through injury a lot. At 23, we got Rocco Beck from Iowa State. As a freshman last year, he balled out. I think he'll only get better. At 22, we have Drew Aller, and everyone's either hot or cold on him. I think he has the traits to be a really good quarterback, but he needs to work on his accuracy consistency. At 21, we have Haynes King, Texas A&M transfer from two years ago. He's an elite level dual threat quarterback. At number 20, we have Garrett Nussmeyer, filling JD's impossible shoes, but in the spring game, he looked absolutely elite. At number 19, I have Will Howard, and some of you are going to say this is way too low for him, but he did kind of get pushed out by my number 25 quarterback. At 18th, we have the best group of five quarterback, Seth Hennigan. Should absolutely ball out this year, potentially give Memphis the group of five spot or the 12 team playoff. At number 17, we have Nico, and I'll be the first one to tell you, he is a top five ceiling this year but i need to see him play more than just one game in a bowl game that really didn't matter but he does have the upside to be really good at number 16th we have garrett green a dual threat quarterback that does also have a cannon on him and can potentially help west virginia compete for a big 12 championship number 15 we have chiron drones he's potentially the best dual threat quarterback this year number 14 we have the coastal carolina transfer grayson mccall he's a veteran quarterback and i think he'll do wonders for nc state at 13 we have caden salter whoops i actually lied about seth hen again salter's is the best quarterback in the group of five. And he showed that last year. Really surprised he didn't get poached by a power five team this last year. At number 12, I have Cam Rising. He could be a top seven quarterback, but coming off of injury, we just gotta see what he looks like. And at number 11, we have Riley Leonard from Notre Dame. A dual threat guy. I was really backpacking Duke last year until he got injured. Follow for the top 10.